Life is busy and life is complicated. And in the middle of our hectic days, sometimes we just need a brief thought or a quick reminder or the proverbial shot in the arm to keep us on track. Sometimes what we need is just a bit of wisdom or a fresh idea or a touch of inspiration to keep us going. Sometimes we just need a little something in our day. This collection of Life Talks podcast shorts are written and produced to provide the listener a quick thought or an uplifting idea in a convenient five to six minute time frame. These are produced for the busy individual who needs a lift in their day, but who's pressed for time. It is our hope that these podcast shorts will make your day a bit brighter and a bit richer. We all have standards, even if our standard is not to have one. We all live by something, even if it's the denial of that something. There's some sort of inherent code that creates a framework that provides direction to our actions. There's a paradigm that we all work within. Call it genetics, call it culture, call it greed, call it fear, call it upbringing, call it faith, call it whatever you want. But we all have standards shaped by something. We each have them. But the thing that shapes those standards the most is us. We want standards because we're supposed to have them, or they were inbred within us, or we just picked them up growing up, or whatever the case might be. But we want standards of convenience. We want standards that are fluidly permissive, and that grant us ample free reign to do what we want, when we want. We want standards that won't hold us back if we hold them up. At times, we want standards that give us permission to do what, in fact, standards tell us not to do. We want standards that are standards in name only. We want standards so that we can say to others and to ourselves that we are people of standards, when in fact, the standard is not to have one. And to pull all of that off, we tediously and rather ingeniously reconfigure our standards to the point that they're not quite empty, but pretty much empty. They have a slight hint of ethics or morals or principles or values hidden away somewhere within them. But that slight hint is left there solely as a means of granting those standards a soothing illusion of legitimacy but they are not left there as something to which the standard adheres. And then we intricately weave these largely empty standards into our lives just enough to provide the illusion that we are indeed people of standards. We make them sufficiently legitimate to look the part. We make them tolerable. We make them doable. We take the standard out of the standard, but we leave them with the name. And in the end, we are utterly fooled into believing that we are people who live by standards. That we are people of principle. That we walk the hard road of integrity. That we live right. That we stand for all that is good and just. But we are not. We are people living a distortion of what we say we're living. And that is utterly heartbreaking. If we honestly face that reality, it's nothing short of catastrophic. It's a shock to our system. It's a blow to everything that we've built. It's a pill that's far, far too big to swallow. It's a reality check that upends this incredibly fragile and permissive narrative that we've built the entirety of our lives on. And it is in the acceptance of this painful and often devastating truth that repentance is born. 
This is where we stand before all of the good that we thought we were. And we recognize that this good is a myth, convincingly spun by this horribly compromised standard that we fashioned. Repentance is a stark realization and a horribly jarring awakening that we're living a life of reconfigured standards that are not standards at all. Repentance is a hard and terribly frank look at the flimsy narrative that we created to grant us permission to live a fluidly permissive life of self-serving, dark, and personally destructive agendas. Life is full of this kind of stuff. They're everywhere, in every place. These kinds of standards permeate everything, including you and including me. Repentance is acknowledging these behaviors and then rejecting these behaviors as destructive for us and everything around us. It's confessing the destruction we've brought on ourselves and everyone around us, and it's repenting of such an inexcusable and wholly squandered life in a manner so comprehensive that no moment from this one forward will ever be squandered again. And once we've cleared the house of all that stuff, repentance is being sufficiently bold to ask what the great standard is, the final standard, the ultimate standard, the real standard, that standard that will stand no matter what, the standard that will stand upon, against, and over every other standard. What is it? Where is it? How do I draw it into every shred of my being? And how do I live it and live by it in a manner entirely uncompromised? Repentance is uncompromisingly abandoning every reconfigured standard that we ever created and embracing the only standard that will outlive every other standard. And that is repentance. And so where are those kinds of standards? Those are the standards that God, and only God, can create. Therefore, it is God to whom we should repent, for he holds the only standards worth dying for and living out. He holds the only standards that will still be standards when all other standards have long fallen away. He holds the great standards, the final standards, the ultimate standards, the real standards. That's where they are. In fact, that's the only place that they are. Repentance. Abandon your reconfigured standards and seize God's eternal standards. That's what will save you. That's what will bless you. That's what will transform you. Thanks for being with us today. It's our hope that this podcast short gave you something not only to enrich your day, but touch your life. Here at Life Talk, we also produce a collection of regular length podcasts that address timely, relevant, and deep-seated issues in our lives, our communities, and our world. You can also discover an array of additional resources on our website at www.craiglpc.com.